Greetings everybody, it is Specialist and back with another Black Ops 2 video for you guys today, and today is a brutal kill streak that I get on, and um, it is, I, I guess I could say it's just another nuclear fail video, but um, don't worry, I'll have some uh, nuclear gameplays and 100 pluses up soon, but anyway, today I would like to talk about, maybe you guys already know that um, Map Pack 4 for uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 has been um, announced, and it is going to be called Apocalypse. Um, sorry, I'm kind of trying to talk really quiet right now. It's uh, 3 a.m. and my family is sleeping, so I'm trying to be pretty quiet. But anyway, on this map pack, well, th just to say first that this map pack is supposed to come out August 27th, so uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, the four maps are uh, Frost, Pod, Takeoff, and Dig. And um, Frost is a snowy map in uh, Europe, and then there's going to be some bridge that separates the middle, I don't know, kind of, I don't know, just another snowy map like they usually put in. And then Pod is supposed to be a utopian community in Taiwan, which I'm I'm kind of confused because I don't know, like, what they're meaning by the term Pod, I guess, maybe, like, Pods from, like, Gears of War or something where they crash down through the ceiling and stuff, because that's what it kind of says, it's almost like an abandoned... Um, an abandoned uh, community where there's these pods everywhere and you have to maneuver around and stuff. I don't know. But um, the next one is Takeoff and it's um, a launch site in the middle of the Pacific Ocean that is supposed to be a uh, stadium and which it actually is. I saw the um, trailer today. It is a remake of Stadium so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, if you guys don't know Stadiums from Black Ops 1, it was one of the DLC maps. And then the last one is called Dig. It is a remake of Courtyard from World at War, which is going to be awesome. I was just playing World at War uh, a couple days ago with my friend and really enjoying it. I love the simplicity of the game. It just That's what makes that game awesome. But anyway, those are the four maps coming out. But I've got another little separate kind of topic to sum up this video. And it is, um, I don't know, every map hack, it seems like they bring back an old map. And um, a lot of people enjoy it. A lot of people like playing the old maps just redesigned and stuff. And um, I totally get that. I enjoy it too for a little bit, but then I kind of get bored. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I, like I said, I do like it, but I feel like they could just put in more time to a brand new map like that everyone would just love like some type of modern warfare 2 map because everybody loved the maps from modern warfare 2 i don't know but if they just didn't redo any maps i'd be totally fine with it i'm not saying it's a bad thing but i feel like they could just put more time into a couple more maps instead of bringing um, old maps back and just kind of redesigning them and making the textures look better i don't know i think it'd just be cool if they just made a completely brand new map um, for all the maps in a DLC, but that's just me, but, um, leave in the comment section, uh, wow, see, I'm always stumbling my words, but leave in the comment section, um, if you guys totally agree with me, or if maybe you guys don't, but anyway, if you enjoyed the gameplay, make sure to slap the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.